Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Charad. Today's mass reading is from John chapter 8 and I read a part. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and they said to him, Teacher, what do you say about her? Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger. Then he stood up and said, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. And once more he bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the eldest. This passage is one of the most precious passages we have in John. It is only given to us in John and not in the Synoptic Gospels. It is interesting over here that the, the scribes and the Pharisees bring this lady to Jesus, not because they want a judgment about the woman, but because they are trying to find a judgment against Jesus. They want to put him to death. It is also interesting. They bring the woman, but where is the man? At least twice in the Old Testament it said, if anyone is found in the act of adultery, both the man and the woman should be put to death. But what I want to speak about here right now is, what did Jesus write on the ground? We really don't know. But there are various views about this. Some people say Jesus was just doodling, just scribbling on the ground to pass time. Some say because it is mentioned that he wrote with his finger, it is a reminder that God gave the Ten Commandments. Remember, he wrote them with his finger. And so he wrote the Ten Commandments one by one on the ground. Some say maybe he wrote the Ten Commandment, thou shalt not commit thy neighbor's wife to remind the Pharisees and the scribes that is the commandment that all of us should follow. Some say he wrote the names of the scribes and Pharisees along with the sins that they committed. And there's another view that he wrote the names of the scribes and Pharisees but only those who they themselves had committed adultery and therefore they disappeared fast. What did Jesus write? We don't know. But let's take it a little further. If you were one of those standing there, what would Jesus write about you?